Alrighty guys, we're gonna go ahead and review F Secure Total Complete Online Protection in a single app. I will post a link on the description of the video for this web page here where you can try for free. If you click on try for free, it'll have you uh, register an account, but it won't ask for a debit card, which is good, and just an email address, and then you could start trying it for free. Once you download it, well, first you're gonna be uh, taken here. And then here you click on add device and then you uh, add your computer. It'll send you a download and then you can download it. Once you have it downloaded, this is what it looks like here, guys. It looks pretty simple. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look through it, see how much resources it takes uh, when you do a scan. We're going to do all that good stuff. But it looks like they have virus protection. They have the password vault. They have ID monitoring and they do have VPN, which I turned on. We're gonna test that out as well to see if, uh, for a fact, my uh, uh, IP address is uh, different. All right, let's go ahead and take a look first at the viruses and threats section. They do have a quick scan. I call it always a cheap scan. Don't always do it, don't always do a quick scan. All right, always go with full computer scan. But first, uh, let's check for updates. Make sure it's all updated. Check now. Um, this kind of looks like the Windows uh, uh, new control panel. It looks a little weird. Uh, let's see. Administrative rights. Hit yes if it asks you for administrative rights. We're going to check. And it looks like, looks like we have the latest updates. Always check for updates when you do a scan, guys. We're going to go ahead and perform a full computer scan. And there it goes. Let's take a look at our processes here to see how much it takes. So right off the bat, we can see right here, the scan wizard is taking already 2.5% uh, of our CPU. Keep in mind, I do have a, uh, um, what is it, the Intel i7. Is it the i7? Or i7, which one is it? I forgot, but it's, it's up there. It's got the octa-core processor. So keep in mind, my CPU, I have a bunch of CPUs, so um, what we really, really want to look at here, I think it's an i7 that I have. Yeah, it's the Intel i7. Um, it's using only 2.4% CPU, but keep in mind I have a very powerful CPU. Uh, well, nowadays it's really not that powerful, but it's up there. It's using 56 megs of RAM. It's not bad, guys. It's not using that much. You can still do a lot of stuff on your computer. A lot of stuff. For example, my screen recorder that I'm using right now is taking up 594 megabytes. This thing only takes 50. This so it does not take any resources of your computer at all to run the scan, guys. But you're good there. You're good there. If you have a file that you think has a virus in it, you can always hit submit a sample here, and you could uh, submit it in there. All right, guys. Um, let's go back to the software. There's the scan. All right. And that's cool. It lets you do other things while the scan is going on. That's good. That's good. So I'm already liking it there. Um, the price is a little up there, though, guys. I'll show you guys the price here in just a second. Password Vault. Um, let's take a look at it. So first, got to create a master password. And I'm just going to, just for the sake of this tutorial, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I know it's easy to guess. Ah. Dollar sign then. Dollar sign. Really? Come on. Dollar sign star then. You happy now? 1, 2, 3, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, I messed up. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 dollar sign star still don't match huh all right i finally created this password man it's gonna be a strong password guys it's ridiculous all right your personal recovery code is the only way to pa access the app in case you forget your master password please save your recovery code and store it in a safe place okay save recovery code um i'm just gonna put it on the desktop save all right Add first password. It's just a sample. We're just uh, so this is where you put the title, and then the username will be right there. We're just gonna put a random password. We're gonna put sample, 
505. And then the password is the password generator. We're just going to put password just for the heck of it, guys. Um, let's just say this is like our eBay password or something. We're going to put that there. Save. Uh, no. Okay. And there we are. We have one password here. So that's how you add it, guys. It says here it's for eBay. And then you can go ahead and add more and more. And that's how it works. You click on add new. You could add more. Connect the devices. That's if you want to connect other devices to the vault. So it's a pretty robust, pretty straightforward uh, vault. I like it. Autofill. If you want to use autofill, you have that settings. You have other settings here too. Automatic lock. Import and export passwords. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's go back. That was password vault. Now we're going to take a look at the VPN. Um, right now it's set for me the United States. We're going to change it. Uh, we're going to change it to the East Coast of the United States. Connecting. And then we're going to test it out. All right, guys. It's on. All right. Let's test it out. We're going to go to a website called What is My IP Address? it's checking and there we go we're on the east coast we are on the east coast and that is not where i live so it works so it looks like it works guys that's pretty good let's see how our scan is going it's going all right and it's still not using much oh look at that it's only using 55 megabytes of RAM. That's that's really good, guys. So the cool thing about F-Secure does not use that much uh, uh, memory. ID monitoring. Now this I won't be able to do, guys, for obvious reasons. I don't want to share what my email address is. But it looks like they do have email monitoring as well. And it looks like it's getting stuck. Come on. What's going on here? I don't like that. I do not like that. Come on. Well, it looks like it crashed. That's not going to look good for your review, F Secure. All right, finally. Uh, cannot connect. Your network connection is not working. Oh, it's probably because of the VPN. All right, so this is where you add your email, guys, but I'm not going to add it, you know, for privacy reasons. I don't want to share my email with the world. All right, and that, is that it? Is that really everything you get here? Um, let me see what else they have. The VPN, the password, VPN. That's secure browsing. They have secure browsing. Oh, which I forgot to show you. It will uh, ask you to install uh, browsing protection by F-Secure right here. And basically, it'll uh, block websites. And I did go to Pirate Bay to see if it, it look. It looks like it's blocking it. I tried to go to Pirate Bay, which is one of the, uh, it's a questionable website. It, Obviously, right? The Pirate Bay. You could download torrents and stuff. But it looks like it's blocking it. Check it out. It's not even letting me go in there. So it looks like it works for blocking bad websites. All right. That's it. Um, you really don't get much, guys. Uh, I've seen better. It doesn't have a firewall. Um, some, of, some of these do have uh, um, also... Uh, for what you're, let's see how much it costs. Check this out. It's six, uh, let me see, for one device, normally they charge you 150, but they're giving us a discount. 69.99 for one year. And I hate this crap, man. Back in the day when I was first reviewing videos 10 years ago, you would buy the software once, just once, and that was it. And now, this crap, it's subscription for 12 months. So every year, you're going to be paying $70, guys. That is a lot of money. I would rather use something that's free out there. Um, check out my reviews. There's a lot of free software out there that does almost the exact same thing. The only thing they're charging you for is probably the extra little widgets like vault, uh, pri password vault, privacy VPN. And yes, there is a VPN out there. That's free. I did make a review on it. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. But uh, password vaults, VPNs, there is free stuff out there, even free antivirus, guys. Um nowadays if you don't if you don't know nothing about computers and you just want to make sure you're safe and you don't bother paying 70 bucks a month a uh, year 70 bucks a year then yeah go ahead go for it guys but 
I'm telling you, I've seen better software with parental control as well for the same price. I have made reviews of them before. So uh, I'm going to have to give it a 3 out of 5 because it's missing, it's missing parental control. The price is a little pricey. and Every year they charge you. Um, and nowadays all software is like that. They just charge you for the year now. and It sucks, I know, guys. Uh, the reason why I'm giving them a 3 out of 5 is because for what you're paying for, you guys should get it all, guys. You guys should get the... Uh, uh, this is F-Secure total, right? The total... Total means you should get it all. You should get you should get parental control, guys. You guys should get a firewall in there. You guys should a little more than this. Even PC cleaners I've seen on some of these. You know what I mean? But anyway, that is my review for F Secure Total. Um, it looks like it works though. Let's see how the scan. Uh, it will block, as we we just tested it. It will block things, so it will work. But I am giving it a three out of five for their steep pricing and not having parental control. Thank you guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon in the next video.